mine, my latest trailer building adventure is this thing right here. This is a 5x10 trailer with a 7,000 pound axle under it and an I-beam frame. I uh, built it to be an industrial trailer, spare tire holder, a few things. One thing it needs is proper wiring and as you can see, that's what we've been working on this morning here. And the thing about this is, uh, for better or worse, you know, I'm not an electrician. I don't have any formal instruction in, um, in wiring stuff like this, and I know most of you guys don't either, but if you need to wire a trailer or a piece of machinery or whatever, or repair some wiring or whatever, uh, I learned pretty much all this the hard way. I think I have it down pretty well now, and I'm gonna share what I've learned with you guys. So the first thing you'll want is what's called a bus bar. And this thing, if we can see this down in here, this is essentially, it's basically a power block and it leads to this cord which terminates in this plug which you just stabby mix stab into the back of your truck. So it's really simple, it's color coded and the lid for this thing actually has a sticker on it which tells you what these things are, like the white wire is, you know, for the ground for instance, at least the way this is set up. So what you do is you find the white terminal which is this one because they have the ends painted and this is what you run to uh, to your ground connections on the trailer. Like we have this ground which goes to the frame and this one which comes from one of the lights. So, you know, and there's other things like for the turn signals and the electric brakes and whatnot and it's all really easy to find and this bus box, what, what it does is it keeps it out of the weather, you can get this all sealed up real tight, gives you the proper plug, gives you the cord all, you know, cinched down in here real nice and these things are really cheap. This was a well spent 20-ish bucks or something. And uh, I'll put some links in the video description to where you can buy all this stuff. It's pretty much all Amazon stuff. And what's great about that is you can tell what you're getting beforehand. You can look at the reviews on there. It's shipped to your door, and at least where I live, it costs less than buying the stuff at an auto parts store. So it saves you time, saves you money. So anyway, moving beyond the bus bar, one thing that I've figured out works really well, and a uh, shout out to my buddy Steve the Mechanic for turning me on to this stuff. It's called Wire Loom. It's, uh, it's a hardish but still flexible plastic coating and essentially all you do is you just open this stuff up and you just use your thumb to press wires into it and then in my case I wrap the entire thing with electrical tape but that's optional. This is, uh, it looks really familiar to me, it'll probably look familiar to you as well because I think we've pretty much all seen this. It comes, on, it comes as standard equipment on pretty much any car, truck, tractor, things along those lines and it just keeps your wires safe. It protects them from abrasion, you know, every time you hit a bump on your trailer, it goes like this, a little bit underneath there, so, you know, it keeps the insulation on the wires from wearing out, keeps them out of the sun, if applicable, not so much now, because obviously it's underneath the deck of this thing, uh, protects them from rain, water, things along those lines, it keeps them dry. So, a few other things that I've uh, learned doing this is uh, the, the best way, one of them, to connect wires, I'm going to move this, this is, you know, one of these goes to each tail light. Uh, one of the best ways to connect wires like this are with these uh, crimp connectors. We've all seen people, and I'm guilty of this myself, who use like those, uh, those made for houses, screw on things. But these are really great. They're color coded for different sizes and you can buy all these things really, really cheap. You can get a whole assortment of them for like 20 bucks. So the way this works, we just have our piece of scrap wire here. I'll take this automatic wire stripper, which is a luxury item to be honest, but these things are nice. You know, I'm going to strip off a little more than that for this demonstration. And uh, all we do is we just rip this off. Then we take our crimp connector and we just kind of slide it over our wire, jiggle things as needed. Then we take the, then we take a crimping tool like this one. I'll crimp it there. I crimp these on each end. Some people just run the wire through and crimp it once in the middle, but I like to do it on each end. Let me smash this down. <clears throat> so you can see, this is pretty secure. In fact, it actually takes quite a bit to rip this out. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they are on there. So needless to say, this will really protect your wires from getting accidentally pulled apart and uh, sure beats the residential roofing nuts. The other thing I've learned, wrap everything with electrical tape, like even these connections here for the lights, I ran the wire loom almost all the way up to the end of it, then wrapped it really good with electrical tape here. And uh, again, you know, we don't want wire getting, or we don't want water getting down inside this wire loom. 
So there's that. One thing I decided to do on this trailer because I really don't want to ever screw with trailer lights again. There's few things more irritating than going to use your trailer for something you need to do normally under some sort of time constraint and the stupid lights on the thing won't work. So I kind of went all out with this. I made uh, one whole wire loom which runs back here to the tail lights and then there's another one, a completely separate one which just runs to the, uh, the electric brakes on this axle. So that way if one someday somehow has problems or is damaged, it's, it's a lot less uh, demanding and time consuming to replace. The other thing, these are nice to have. These, uh, I think they just call them crimp on eyes, something along those lines. These are really great because all you do is you take your piece of wire and if we have to put this over a bolt or we have to run a screw through it to the frame of the trailer as a ground or whatever, all you do, I crimped a little too much off of there. We just run it through like this. and smash it down and just like that we have a good proper connection we can run a bolt or a screw through. Certainly beats stripping off like two inches of this and wrapping it all around the screw and ramming it in and hoping for the best. So you know like I said I'm not an electrician I've learned all this stuff the hard way but normally these lights don't really ever have problems especially if you go all out and you buy LEDs like what this trailer now has. These things are fairly inexpensive, uh, especially if you order them on the internet and they're a standard size. The really great thing about these is the, uh, these are a little tight because the circles are, uh, the circles we cut are a few thousandths of an inch too small. But I can actually just push this out, I'm not going to force it, but we can just push this out and, you know, undo this quick connect and then just pop it right on a new light, push a new light in if one of these ever gets damaged. So that's another little luxury. I know this is a random video, but like I said, I've learned pretty much all this stuff the hard way through trial and error and having to rewire some stuff I've wired in the past. So I wanted to pass this on to you guys. To summarize, decent quality wire. This is actually marine grade wire. It's made for like boat trailers and boats and things that can possibly get really wet or be submerged or whatever. Um, yeah, good quality wire, lots of wire loom, tons of electrical tape. That's the other thing. You have to get good electrical tape. I really like this 3M Scotch stuff. Uh, once upon a time, I impulse bought some electrical tape at Harbor Freight, and it was awesome. It was some of the best I've ever used. And then I go back there later when I'd used it all up, and I bought another batch of rolls, and, uh, and it was horrible. The stuff won't even stick to itself. So now I just stick to the 3M Scotch stuff. Uh, that wire loom, it's really cheap. I bought 100 feet of it for like $17 or something and crimp on connections. The other thing is, if I was actually going to put this connection in, the one that I tried to pull apart under the trailer, just to keep uh, debris and water and whatnot out, I'd actually take this and start wrapping probably like an inch plus, ideally like an inch and a half or two inches before this and just sort of go over it. I like to use at least a 50% overlap so you can kind of see here we're overlapping half of our last layer of tape. You can probably get away with less but this just keeps things. Uh, more better and more secure and I would consider this to be a pretty decent connection on about anything so like I said I'm not an electrician this is all stuff I've had to learn the hard way but makes life a lot easier when you can just wire stuff once and be done with it so if you're gonna be building or repairing anything like this I hope this video helps you out as always do it at your own risk thanks for watching and I'll see you next time